Hello, this is the Watch Dog, and welcome back to Fun with Watches. If watches weren't fun, you'd only need one. Today, we're going to review the Bagai Design PD 1753 Amish Tissot PRX. Let's start out with the wrist check. I'm wearing a Tavis T801 Amish to a Rolex Bluesy. And Greg was wearing my Skimi 9288, which is also an Amish to Tissot PRX. I asked Grogu if he was watching the new season of The Bad Batch on Disney+. Plus. He said yes, but what's up with Omega? Why does every show have to have a child sidekick? I said, seriously? Alright, let's take a look at the watch. It comes in the Spagani Design snapper case. And, of course, the nicest cleaning cloth in the industry. I just watched a video of Jody, and I noticed he was using one of these cloths, even though he was uh, modding a Seiko. And here's the watch. The Tissot PRX was a hit from the get-go, combining a reasonable price with Swiss made on the dial. It was only a matter of time before the Chinese homage companies got involved, and this is the first attempt by Pagani Design. Integrated bracelet with a butterfly clasp and a round bezel just seems to work. Plus, the links are fairly small, making a butterfly clasp lack of micro-adjustment no big deal. This is my second PRX homage. I reviewed a Skimi Quartz and will soon be reviewing a Wu-Wur Quartz. And after completing my reviews, I will do a comparison video. I chose the blue colorway and there is also a black and a green. I'm quite surprised there is no white or silver dial, which seems to be a popular PRX color. Why spend $100 on a Chinese homage when you can walk into any authorized dealer and buy a real PRX for about $350? Well, $350 doesn't seem outrageous, but it's still a lot more than $100. The watch is 37.9 millimeters at the bezel, but 40.2 millimeters if you measure at the case. Has a 45.2 millimeter lug to lug. Is only 11.8 millimeters thick, which is pretty thin for an automatic. And lug width does not apply, but it's 26.6 millimeters at the widest part of the bracelet. And weighs 143 grams on the supplied bracelet with two links removed. The bezel is brushed on top, but is polished on the sides. It's a nice looking bezel. I think they did a good job with it. And then the dial is blue, and it's such a dark blue that it almost looks black. Really deep navy blue. Then it says Pagani Design, and has a Pagani Design logo applied up top. And then it says automatic on the bottom. No mention of the water resistance, but it's 100 meters. So it's kind of surprising they don't put that on the dial. If you have more than 30, they usually do. But that's fine because it leaves the dial uncluttered. Then it says Japan movement on the bottom. Then we have applied baton indices with a double at the 12. And unlike the real uh, PRX, they don't extend into the chapter ring and then the hands are a lot like the prx hands just these stick hands loom and there's no loom on the thin uh pen on the thin uh second hand and then the date window is really nice i kind of like it 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 really works it's nice and big and it doesn't need a cyclops and you can see it really easily there's no border, but as you can see, it's got these little edges to it. And then we have a sign crown. It's a screw down. And being an NH35, there's a nice pop when you unscrew it. And uh, pretty good thread action when you screw it back down. The threads catch nice and easy. And you don't feel a lot of resistance when you screw it back down. Then the crystal is a flat sapphire. And uh, it's a pretty good job of not doing reflecting. I mean, yeah, a sapphire crystal is always going to reflect. I don't know if it has a AR coating or not. But I think it does a good job. Then the case, I really like the case. It's brushed everywhere. And like I said, it's fairly thin for an automatic and yeah, it's it's really do a good job with the integrated bracelet. 
Then the case back is a display case back. And you don't get a true sapphire sandwich. It's just mineral glass. But that's fine. You don't worry about your case back getting scratched up. Then it says water resistant. Pagani design. Stainless steel. And 100 meters. Then underneath the case back is the NH35 movement. Pagani design never uses their own rotors they always stick with the stock rotors which are very plain looking because they're probably designed for watches that don't have a display case back i kind of wish pagani design would use their own rotors for if they have a display case back but oh well that's minor the nh35 is your go-to movement of watches in this price range it's a 24 joule three hertz movement that hand winds hacks and has about a 40 hour power reserve and they're fairly accurate right off the shelf so let's go ahead and put it on the time grapher and see here it is on the time grapher plus 12 plus 11 not great numbers but not bad well within uh, the advertised specs of the movement and as you can see though there's no beat error at all so that's really good The bracelet is integrated, and unlike that Skimi I reviewed, or even a real PRX, the end links do not articulate at all. They're kind of fixed. There's no movement at all there, as you can see. But that's no big deal. I mean, it kind of makes the lug to lug a little bit wider than it would be if they fully articulated. But once again, no big deal. And the links are all brushed, solid steel, and they look really nice. I like them. And uh, we have push pin adjusters, which is fine. I'm perfectly happy with push pin adjusters. I've lost screw pins before, but never push pins. And then the butterfly clasp is signed, Pagani Design. And once again, since it's a butterfly clasp, we don't get any micro adjusts, but these links are fairly thin, so I was able to get a good fit, and you should be able to get a good fit too. Here's the watch on my seven and a half inch wrist. I think it looks nice, wears nice. Has a good wrist roll. Look at that light reflection. I really like that. And then I removed two links to fit my seven and a half inch wrist. So eight's about as good as you're gonna get. And of course you could always try asking for extra links when you order the watch. I've heard that works. I've never had to do that before though. So I've never tried it. But yeah, I like it. And of course, being an integrated bracelet, I will not show it to you on anything else because I can't. Here we are in the loom room. The biggest question when reviewing a Pagani design is if the hand loom will be as good or better than the index loom. Well, let's find out. As we speed up the time, we see typical Pagani design. The index loom is so-so, but the hand loom is just awful and is already about gone. It does no good to see the indices if you can't see the hands. Very disappointing. What do I like about this watch? Well, I like this really nice brushed stainless steel case. I think they really nailed the bracelet. It's comfortable and nice to wear. And I really like this date window. I think it really works. What are my gripes and groans? The navy blue dial is way too dark. Almost looks black. Obviously, this is only a gripe with this colorway. You won't have this gripe with the green or the black. I don't like the fact that the hand loom is significantly weaker than the index loom. And that's about it. My only real complaints. Do I recommend this watch? Of course. This watch is great. It looks nice. Wears nice. And I've really enjoyed my time with it. I'm going to be sad when I sell it. But I'm not selling it just yet as I'm still going to make a comparison video after I review the Quartz Wool War. Or is it just War? Well, thank you for watching my review of the Pagani Design PD 1753. And I will be back with another unboxing. I just got something in the mail today. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Bye.